Oh, that might have been it. I'll have to retime that and see. <laughs> Let's go, though. Hey, uh, so you might have a few questions about him uh, regarding what you just saw. Um, the first of which might just be, why is a game that was released a few months ago on a console that's over 30 years old? Well, this is Wordle Game Boy. It was created by Stack Smashing, and I will leave a link to his Twitter and also where you can download the game for yourself in the description. And it is a demake of Wordle. It is a clone of Wordle that runs on the Nintendo Game Boy. And it is truly a Game Boy game. If you have the technical know-how, you can run this game um, on actual Game Boy hardware. Although most people would run it on an emulator. Um, and the second question is probably, how did I get the word first try? Um, did I just reset a bunch of times and get lucky? Um, not exactly. There was resetting involved, but it wasn't luck. Um, basically, this game has an RNG manipulation that allows you to control what the word is. And I want to explain that a bit by going into the code. Let me just zoom into the code a bit more so it's easier to see. And I want to kind of go through this code here, which determines um, what the word is, and explain how we're able to actually control what that word is. Um, before we do that, I want to start by doing an overview of how RNG manipulation works in games in a general sense. So randomness is determined by two things. There is a seed and there is a random function. Um, the seed can be just any number and the random function when given a seed will input a random quotations number. Now what you have to understand about the seed and the random function is that given the same seed, the random function will output the same sequence of numbers every time. So let's say I have the seed one and I put it into this random function and I run it and I get 15. And now I'm gonna run it again and I get, let's say 27. And I'll run it again and I'll get, let's say 34. Now, if I power off and power on the console again, uh, rerun those three random functions, the seed one, I'll get 15, 27, 34 again. Like that's just how it works. It's the same sequence determined by the seed. Um, so the way you would manipulate RNG in a video game is you have to know two things. You have to know what the seed is and um, uh, when the random function is called. Now, for the purposes of Wordle Game Boy, that second one's actually pretty trivial to answer. Um, there's only one point of randomness and it's the actual generation of the random word. So the random function is only called once. Um, or to be more precise, it's called a bunch of times until it gets a number that corresponds to one of its numbers, uh, words in the answer list. Um, but for all intents and purposes, it's called once. And it's called once to get the word. So that part's, you know, out of the way, done. So now the question is, what's, what's the seed? How can we determine the seed? Well, the seed is created from two values that are kind of just intrinsic to the Game Boy hardware. The first of these is called the lie register, and it corresponds to um, what um, scan line is being drawn on the Game Boy screen currently. And the second of these is called the div register. And it's just, it's basically just a counter that increments up um, from power on. So when a game is powered on, it starts at zero, it increments up. Um, the actual specifics of these two numbers aren't as important to understand as the fact that they are going to be consistent um, according to how long the Game Boy has been powered on. So if you power on the Game Boy, you start your Wordle Game Boy, the same scan lines, the same screen drawing process is going to happen, and this thing's going to count up in the same way, because the Game Boy hardware is consistent. Um, and what that kind of boils down to is that if we generate the word on a specific frame, um, that word will be consistent. So if we generate the word on the same frame every time, we'll get the same word. So now the question remains, can we control what frame the word is generated? Well, as it so happens, yes, we can. You see this line of code right here, um, it checks two things. It checks if a word's already been generated, because obviously you don't want to generate more than one word. And also if any button on the Game Boy input has been pressed, if any input has been given to the console and there's no word already, that is the frame that generates the word. And how do we apply this practically? I'll actually show you how we apply this practically, if you give me one second to open up a Game Boy emulator. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to run uh, Wordle GBA and I'm going to mash my keypad as fast as possible, just like that. All right, that was enough mashing. And now I'm gonna enter the word smoke. And I'm gonna hit enter. And would you look at that? Smoke was the answer. How did I do that? I basically just input buttons as fast as possible so that on the first possible frame that the game takes input, it received an input, and it just so happens that on that frame, the word is smoke. Um, now, you've probably noticed that in my record, uh, smoke was not the word I used. I actually used the word fruit. How did I do that? Well, I actually went and checked the first 15 frames of input and see what word they generate, and looked for the one that would be the easiest to type fast. Because in optimizing time in Wordle GBA, 
is um, very much about a word you can type fast because it takes all this time for me to go around this keyboard and type smoke. Uh, if done optimally, it's actually 18 key presses, um, not including the five that you actually have to click the enter key on or to actually type the word. But the word I use, fruit, if we just go through and count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, it's only 12 presses. And of the first uh, 15 frames, uh, the words anger and fruit were the fastest to type. And I figured fruit would be a lot easier to type because anger involves you know, some screen wraps, some direction changes. It's not quite as smooth. So I went with fruit. Now fruit appears on the sixth frame after the game starts receiving input. So in order to get fruit, I actually had to time my first key press um, to the 60th of a second of that sixth frame. So it's actually not that easy to get. It's certainly possible. Um, obviously I just did it, so it's possible, but it's certainly possible to do at a semi-consistent rate. Um, but it does take a little bit of uh, practice to learn the timing. Um, and another caveat I should probably mention is that the time in my video, as you probably noticed, uh, is not the same as the time in the title. And the reason for that is because the time, um, the timing method of the speedrun.com leaderboard is a little bit different than what I used. In my video, I started the timer on my reset of the console and I stopped it on um, uh, when I actually press enter to verify if the word is correct. Now, the timing they use on the website starts at your first input on the screen, and it ends on that frame that says one out of six, you got the word. And so what that boils down to is that this record can actually be improved further if someone is crazy enough to do so, because as long as you wait on this screen on power on, the word is not generated and the timer has not started. So if you were to go through all the frames and go find the word that types an easy, that generates a really easy to type word, such as power, I do think power is the fastest, though I haven't verified that. Um, then basically you could wait on this frame, go do, type power real quick, it's all it takes, and then press enter or start to submit the word and get your world record, which will probably be faster than mine because this is such an easy word to type. Um, so if someone wants to do that and go beat my record, by all means go for it. Um, the obvious challenge is that, um, aside from finding which frame power appears on, you have to basically wait a pretty long time with no visual cues. This screen, does, this screen does not change if it is not touched. So you'll have no visual cues, you'll have to hit a 60th of a second input frame, um, basically just by your intuitive sense of timing. It's pretty tricky, um, but certainly possible, especially if you use a, a tool like a timer that counts down and lets you know when to hit the thing. Um, so if someone wants to go ahead and beat my record doing that, uh, by all means go for it. Uh, and claim yourself a nice world record. But yeah, I think that wraps up my explanation. If you have any questions about Wordle Game Boy or RNG manipulation in general, feel free to leave them in the comments. I do read the comments and I'll be responding to any questions like that to the best of my ability. I'm no expert, but I do know a few things. So hopefully I can help you out. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, see ya.